Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having me here. Uh, my name is Olga staszek -Kornet. Today I will talk about a new SharePoint extension enhancing the editor's experience with custom section templates. Since I'm not a frequent visitor here, uh, and this is the first time I present something, let's start with a quick intro round. The solution would have never come to life without Michal Kornet, a great SharePoint developer and privately my husband. He also owns a blog where this and other solutions we develop are described and promoted. He is also at the call while I am here to present the solution. I am a technical consultant in the area of M365 and Power Platform, working currently in the digital collaboration team in a maritime shipping company. So what is the, uh, the idea behind the scenes? Uh, the inspiration for developing the solution came directly from the intranet project I have coordinated lately. And as we all know, SharePoint is a powerful platform, but there are some universal needs everyone working with content management can easily identify with. For example, um, content editors, they always seek nice and easy ways to publish their data, uh, but also often face, face issues while composing their own layouts, and they tend to complain about being forced to place the same set of information over and over again on many pages. From the global perspective, an important aspect here is to have this coherent look and feel across all the sites, and to think to all the SharePoint sites as of a bigger whole. And on top of that, we often need to stick to the corporate design with applied graphics or text formats. And there are always some other policies that we need to be compliant with. So all these cases together only confirm that defining some standard layouts our editors can easily follow is a huge benefit. Um, of course, the right answer here is to use the page template, but these templates are sometimes just not flexible enough. In most cases, we are either constrained to a few layouts and we need to adjust them further, or we have to, on the other hand, create multiple variants of the same template uh, to gain more flexibility, which is also not handy as, uh, as well. And uh, SharePoint natively, has this feature for page section templates, um, as we all know, but there are only six of them available pre-built with the text and image web parts, so they are not helpful here as well. And none of the approaches are uh, as effective as having the customized building blocks of predefined sections. We can compose really the way we like. So what we did was to come up with the SharePoint framework extension that allows editors to save the already deployed sections together with exact uh, configuration and place them easily on any site pages throughout the tenant. With the same solution, SharePoint admins can release a central library of predefined sections. And the solution itself is based on SharePoint lists, uh, which are a simple yet effective storage for the section data. Consequently, our solution contributes to more efficient content publishing with the four key features. The main one is simply a duplication of sections with templates kept on a site-specific list uh, that, is that is managed by um, site owners and editors or on a global list managed by administrators. Secondly, a simple and effective uh, page creation uh, is accelerating the process and saving time. Next, the structured development of cohesive layouts uh, with our ready-to-go sections as our major building blocks. And last but not least, uh, it's also an easy way for us to copy web parts with their complex configuration uh, between pages. Since we have already caught the general idea, let me now show you what the process of creating and applying section templates uh, looks like in practice. First, we need to go to any page located on any site where you have already installed the app. The installation guide is enclosed in the article. I will share the link to it later at the end of my speech, so I won't jump into details now, but in a nutshell, one needs to create an SPFX package, deploy it in the app catalog, and next install the app on any target site. So what we need to do is to go to the edit mode on this selected page. 
uh, pick the section we would like to create a template from. And then since it's going to be some template, let's make it look like one. So maybe we would like to change some text here for uh, some placeholder like team name, and maybe this lengthy um, chapter here can be just uh, described as team description. And we can also indicate that some other web parts are to be filled in yet. So I will remove some obsolete data here and there and yeah, and maybe also under the uh, call to action button. And now we can proceed to saving the section as the template. Um, I will go to the save section button here in the left side, uh, hand side. And this is something that initialized the uh, site pane. In here, we need to provide the section title. So let's go with something like team data. Uh, then we can provide some description. It's not obligatory, but it's a good practice just to write down something that will um, describe what's inside. So let's proceed with a free column section with a team presentation or whatever. And then if you would like to have some visual presentation, we can also enclose some icon here. Uh, I will go for something related to a group of people. So let's go with this one. And what is happening after hitting this action button here is catching the section JSON code from the page source and saving it on a dedicated list. Uh, the solution itself calculates the position of the section. So it's really important for us to define this section template when all the modifications are already saved. Uh, the code conveys information about the section layout, its background, web parts within, and uh, particular settings. And here is the button to copy this JSON code to the clipboard. We can use it to manually add items to our global section list located on the root side, or just to check the structure behind. But what we want to do right now is to save the section locally only. So this site uh, will be the place to store the section template. I will then accept my choice and um, to be able to apply the same template to the same page, which doesn't, which doesn't make much sense here because we already have this, um, this section here. But if we want to see our, our newly created template already in the available choices, we just need to refresh our view. And then we can proceed to this upper ribbon where the add section button appears and here we can see that we already have some predefined section templates the upper row stands for the global repository while the lower um, row of uh, templates is our site-based uh, library of the sections this is the one this is the section that we have just defined i can accept my choice just to show you that the solution automatically refreshes the page again. And if I scroll down to the very bottom, I can already see this section applied here to my page draft. Um, of course, you can go to the other page and add the created section or any other section there the very same way. But what I would like to show you right now is uh, that we can start from blank, like from the empty uh, page template. And then uh, within some seconds, you can get a nice looking coherent page draft. You can build on later. So while I am here on this very blank uh, space, I can start adding sections. So maybe we can start with the header here and then proceed with adding some more sections. And as you can see, the process is quite quick. We, maybe we would also like to enclose this newly created section. And as our cherry on top, how about putting here some vertical section as well? And all of these sections, as you can see, they are already here. They are also fully 
adjustable so we can change the background we can change the content we can also duplicate any section we like and this is just a good start for us to start building the pages that are coherent that are um following our corporate guidelines and that are just nice and easy uh to use the at the end uh i would like to show you um, the bot list from which we pulled out the data so this is this local section templates list located on our site as you can see our latest uh lately created section is already here and the columns stand for the data that was uh, provided within the form and the same goes for the very same list but located on our root site and as you can see five of our global sections are here as well and if we are to add anything new in here we just need to provide a title and as you might remember um, i have also copied the json template to my um, clipboard so i can easily paste it here and then i can just add um, this global template uh, using this save button. Um, okay, so now what I'd like to do, just for the end, I will return to my slides. Um, I hope you like this concept presented here. So if you face similar issues I described at the beginning slides, feel invited to visit my GitHub profile and try out how the extension works on your site. To learn even more about the solution, jump to our website. The link is at the bottom. And if you have any questions or ideas, you can also uh, um, easily find me and Michal on LinkedIn and just drop by for a chat. That's all from my side and thank you for your attention.